My name is Issa Bakos, I'm 24 years old, I'm a photographer. I live just outside of London in Kingston and I run Endless Magazine. I was at college at the time, no intention of taking photos. I was, I was doing like, I was doing football at college and that was my main, that was my main sort of thing. I was getting to BMX slowly because I was working at a bike shop. And then got into BMX more, started to take over football, ended up hurting myself and, and tearing my ligament in my knee. I ended up picking up a camera just to still hang out with my friends riding and stuff because that's what I really enjoyed and I still do. I was taking photos, I couldn't really ride at the time. Started riding again, I put the camera down, started riding a lot more um, and then tore my ligament again and then I was just like, that was sort of breaking point for me. First photo I got published was, it was I was out, I was out riding in London and with all the boys, it was just like, um, like Joss Fenn, like uh, Ben Green, and uh, Paley was in town at the time, Dan Paley, and um, at the time he was running for stereo. He, we were at London Bridge stair set, and the fucker 540'd it, and I was, I was up top, just sequenced it, and then, I mean, even back then, I knew fuck all, I knew fuck all about, um, like, editing photos, you know, like, I never used to edit photos, like, I was just, just like, oh yeah, cool, like, just whack it on, you know? And then um, my mate uh, Sam King, who's an incredible photographer, man, um, he he helped me out, edit that photo, like, stitched it together for me. I sort of then, I then sent that photo to, I can't remember who I sent it to, I might have just sent it to, like, Stereo or something, and, and then Stereo ended up sending it to Evan Cycles, and then Evan Cycles used it for a double page ad in Ride UK, which eventually then got used for maybe, like, four or five issues, uh, which I was absolutely psyched on, man, like, and, yeah, that was ever since then, like, I was getting a couple more adverts after that. And then eventually, uh, Beddoes run one of my photos. It might have been some sort of jam in one of the old Roddy Ks. The progression for me was, I mean, at the time when I was getting, when I was just the advert here and there, I mean, the photo, I'm talking once every five months, you know, in the mag, like, not even that. I was, I was just waiting for about three years. And uh, near the last year, I was, um, uh, Ride had a few changes and then, it allowed me to sort of get my foot in there. I went out, started shooting some more features, more bigger features, you know, getting two, four pages, you know. And then um, it just, it just like, the penny dropped. It was just like, I, I, I could just do this. Brighton and Ready, this is 2014. Uh, Brighton and Ready happened. And I was in Brighton. I knew a few of the locals. I've known Mikey a, lot, a really long time. He was filming the whole project. No one was taking the photos. I just thought to ask, you know, I asked like, if anyone was taking the photos, you know. And, and no one, no one was set to take any photos on the whole trip. So I was just like, Jesus, man, like it was the summertime and I spoke to Stu and I, I'm still forever in, in the man's debt, you know, of a guy who put me on the map, Stu Dawkins at 70s, you know. He, he gave me the opportunity to be on, on the Brighton Ready and I took it without a shadow of a doubt, you know, like no hesitation. I was like, yeah, I'm there, quit my job. Yeah, and then after that sort of established my name, I guess, and he really helped me out, you know. And, Forever then, always thanking, always thanking the boss man, you know. So yeah, so yeah. I mean, uh, at the moment, I'm shooting on a Canon 1DX. I shoot all Canon lenses. My favourites, this is my 15mm fisheye 2.8, just keeping it OG. 7200, 2.8, no IS. Fuck that shit. 16 to 35 Canon. More just use that for sort of like event work, I guess. Like every now and then I need to make a bit of money, so like I'll just go do a bit of event work. I always like to bring it anyway, just in case I want to use it on, the B on, on, on BMX. 40 mil pancake, and second favorite lens, my 50 mil 1.4 Canon. Still shooting on four separate Nikon SB28s, and then pocket wizard, uh, pocket wizard receivers. Uh, green films, Shadow, Conspiracy, Mark II bag. Yeah, really, really good. You definitely have to have like uh, passion in it. Like passion's probably like the biggest thing for me. If you don't, at the end of the day, like if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're never gonna be good at it, in my, in my opinion. Working a dead end job for someone else, it's just like, why am I doing this? I'm not gonna enjoy it because you're not actually getting anything out of it. Whereas if you enjoy photography and enjoy what you're doing, you're gonna put 100% into that. As long as you enjoy it and have your own style, I think you'll go a long way. It's my life, man. Like, I can never stop taking photos, either being on my main camera, sadly on my phone because it's so handy, but either way, like, it's just everything that evolves around photography for me. With, with digital, the way digital's going at the moment, I mean, I, I, I mean, on the website for me, I mean, we still do online features, you know, but that's for the sheer fact of just timing with um, a feature most of the time, or we're trying to keep the we're trying to keep the print side of things up to a really high standard. And at the end of the day, there's new people progressing and riding now, and there's not many magazines left compared to 10 years ago. So really, it's it's trying to 
keep print alive and photos in print, you can feel them like just, just looking at a magazine is, is, is not a better feeling. Long story cut short, I mean I was working at Ride full time, this is after, uh, after Brighton and stuff, like, I was working at Ride full time, it was, it was paying my way. Few mags dropped out, and then everyone, and then Ride decided to go down to like I think it's like eight issues a year, or something like that. People were saying like, oh yeah, Ride's gonna go, Ride's gonna go, and I was just like, uh, no, I don't know. We, we, I still, I still had, I still had belief, you know. I still had this magazine was because we were shooting, we were shooting good features, you know, and really trying, really putting a lot of effort into it. And then got the call, and it was like, yeah, next issue's gonna be the last one. And I was like, Jesus, man, like, like what am I gonna do? Just, I was dreading going back to the restaurant, man. Like I was, I was dreading it, and I was just like, "What do you do?" And then I was just like, "If something's going to happen, you got to do it fast. You, you've, you've just got to do it." I was in Hastings at the time, and I was just, just constantly beachboarding, and I was just like, "Fuck it, man! Like, if they could do it, like a big corporate company with God knows how many overheads or whatever, why can't one person start a magazine? You're a photographer. You're shooting all the content. You can do editorial." All right, you don't have to lay out a magazine, but that can, that can come. It's a small industry, you know. You've worked with a lot of the people who who are part of it, and are going to help you run the magazine and support you. Why not? And if if you try it and it doesn't work, then at least you tried, you know. And it's at least you 100%. And I just went for it, man. It just all fell into place, you know. And it was just like, just, just do it, you know. I thought of a name. That name clicked. Got my friend Alan from school on board. Um, he helped lay out the magazine. Um, George was helping me. Yeah, everything, everything went really well and I, was, um, I couldn't be happy of how things are going. What makes a good photo? I, I guess like where you where you know straight away what's going on. Like you look at that photo and you're just like, pff, straight away you're just like, well. I think I think the rider and what the rider's doing really, really helps. At the end of the day, if a rider's doing something big and you nail a photo to a, to a degree, it's going to look good, isn't it? Because the rider's doing a lot, a lot of work for that photo, you know? The way you've shot it. Um, different with your own style and you look back at it every single time you're just like I, I couldn't have shot that photo any better in my opinion that's when I'm that's when I'm most happy you know not, not when I've got any any sort of doubt where I'm saying oh, I wish I'd done that you know but yeah that's that's the best feeling for me really